Now, this is Lena back again. Now, my granddaughter and friends, and they're gonna do cutting the pumpkins. And they're gonna, uh, after they get the pumpkins cut, they're gonna show you how, how to plug them out. Okay, now let's go. All righty, so we already cut the hats off. Go, go. So we just wanna get all of these stringy guts and seeds. Mm -hmm. You can take the seeds and roast them if you want to in the oven with some right. seasoning and eat these good pumpkin seeds. I like them, but today, I'm just gonna put them in the trash. And we just get it. You just reach your hand in there and get to work. You want to get the guts out for those of y'all who may have never carved a pumpkin. You want to get the guts out because you want, when you cut your eyes and nose and mouth, you want them to be able to be seen through. You know, you want them to be looking kind of see through because you might want to put a flashlight in there. Some people put a candle in there to make it look really good and extra spooky. When they put these on their porch or sit them out for the trick-or-treaters with all the guts in there. It might look a little, oh sorry, I'm a sleeper. It might look a little more scary which if you leave some of the guts. Because it might look like brains or something. But you can do it however you want. If you don't want to gut it at all, you don't have to. It's all up to you. Oh, it's a lot of season. This one too, that would be really good to just eat them all. They're very big, so it's going to take a while to get them all, get this all cleaned out, all the seeds and stuff. Not that much, because hers is already done. <laughs> okay. I'm almost done. Oh. We're going to have to sleep Miss Lena's floor, because we are making a little bit of a mess. <laughs> but what is fun without a mess? And this is kind of fun with this slimy pumpkin guts. Yuck. It actually feels kind of good because it's all squishy. It's a little distress. It's a little distressing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. Okay. So m mine is just a typical, regular jack o' lantern. Triangle eyes, nose, and then the mouth. So since I already drew it to make it easier to just cut down the section that I that I had already drew. Just want to follow your knife down your lines. You might not be Picasso perfection, but it's a freaking pumpkin, y'all. So the first eye. Let me see, I might need to cut a little bit more to get them out. Whoop. It popped out that first eyeball. <laughs> and you just do the same thing with the other one. Just trace down. So I, I need to show them after I get done. So, <laughs> so you're just going to cut down all of your lines. Be very careful, y'all. <laughs> Granny, she said she need that other knife that I that we put up because she having a hard time with that one. She had a little baby one that we I put in the sink. Okay. So we got the great Thank you. We got the first two eyeballs out. Oh, and then gotta get the nose. The hardest part is that mouth because you got a lot of cutting to do with those little shapes. Especially if you were like me and didn't, and should, it should have made it more simple, but you didn't. Toya's working on some square eyes instead of triangle eyes like mine. I don't know if which one is easier to cut, but you can just do whichever one works for you. Third triangle out, the nose is out. I need to wipe my hands off because my hands are slipping. And the mouth, I'm going to lay him on his back for this mouth because he going to take some work. I'm just going to trace this mouth. Y'all can use some uh, pumpkin cutting knives. We don't have any. I forgot to get it from the store, so we just kind of working it out with uh, these regular knives. <laughs> Be very careful with this, y'all, so you will not cut yourself. Yeah, that's some wrong, uh, 
too, also. Yes, all three of the Bambinos belong to me. Michael, Malachi, and Simone. I think. Have I done it? I just wanted to clean up some of that black. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> and there he is. I don't got the prettiest little pumpkin, but that's me jack-o'-lantern. That's Marquise because he got him. There we go. <laughs> That's Marquise, the pumpkin. That's Marquise. And y'all see Granny's here keeping us from dirtying up her kitchen. <laughs> Just gonna put his top back on him. Yeah, that's Marquise. He chipped his tooth or whatever. Working on that she's carving up a storm. Working on that pumpkin. Got she got a more extravagant pumpkin than mine. A pumpkin named Tyler. He lives in the suburbs. So we got Tyler and Marquise. Yeah, they best friends. They made, you know. Mm. <laughs> Marquise needs a pimp hat on. And then him love gold too for some. Mm -hmm. we, we want to see your pumpkin. Mm -hmm. All right. This is Miss Lena Beth. So this is our Halloween. Thanks. Okay. So now you can do anything that you'd like to do with the jack o -lanterns. Like I said, you can put your lights on them. You can put a skirt on them. You can put a pair of pants on them. Just do whatever you would like. This will make you a happy hero. And maybe if you'd like, put a little flashlight in it or either a candle. That's not, it's, it's, it's my birthday. It's my following last day. This is a, a complete birthday date for me. For October their, 21st. October the 21st. And I appreciate all the messages that said happy birthday to Miss Lena. And I appreciate all of my old, cus, all my old subscribers and all the new subscribers and all of the ones that's been viewing and the ones that's been viewing would you please if you, if you feel like subscribe to miss lena's kitchen there's many videos coming up please use this for halloween thank you have a blessed day in the name of Jesus. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. like comment and subscribe Bye -bye. and hit that like, notification bell like, and press all okay Bye. Bye. oh that's my own mama that's yeah. Miss, that's and Miss I don't have a husband. I'm single. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye.